Hey Google, turn garden floodlight on. Hello and welcome to another Shelly video by DRI Journey. So, I've done another purchase and I've ordered two more of these. Um, reason being, uh, I decided the floodlights that I have uh, on the front and rear of the house uh, also could work from this. Um, so what I went for is a Steinel XLED, which people over on Instagram will have seen. Um, and to my surprisement, if that's a word, um, these don't switch on and off um, as you would expect from, say, a normal light with a timer, uh, where you can sort of switch it off and back on and the light will stay on and then you do the same to sort of reset it back into its PIR uh, and working automatically. Um, I've done a bit of research and I found on the terminals of the Steinel floodlight is a terminal for a switched live um, or you can use it to power another light to come on at the same time. Um, so what I can do with this, with the Shelly, as you'll have seen in uh, one of my earlier videos, um, I can wire this into it. Uh, I don't know if it fits. That's what we're going to find out. And um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do in this video. So what I need to do is I've connected and paired the one for the front of the house. So I just need to connect the one for the rear. Um, so I'll do that now and I'll uh, sort of quickly show you how that's done because I struggled to show it in the first video as I was learning myself. Um, so yeah, we'll get that done now and then we'll head outside and get them installed and see if they work. So let's get the camera on the head and uh, show you how it's done. So the Shelly box, what you have inside is instructions. Uh, there and then normally you would have two obviously as said um, we can um, uh, I've already connected one so what we'll do we'll get this one connected for the rear garden uh, and get it connected to the app so what I've done is as you'll have seen in my last video if you've watched it uh, I bought myself a plug and I've just got some cable so at least I can plug this in uh, and get it all connected to the app and um, as close to the router as possible which is in the room below me uh, so that's what we'll do and we'll uh, we'll get it connected up so just something to note with the shell is you need to check in this little area here that the jumper is on the left hand side uh, as per the instructions uh, and then what we're going to do is just connect them in to the live and neutral which will give it its power so that's the neutral. And then we need to plug it in. So what we need to do is head over to the Shelly um, app and as you can see here, we've got the existing lights, the garden, um, which obviously aren't connected just yet, and then the front up and down light. That device is offline because I've just taken it off and ready to install. So what we need to do, back to the home page, uh, we need to add device there. Your internet stuff is already on there, so click next and then click the device that we're connecting. We've clicked the Shelly one now what and it'll ask you to join now what I found is this doesn't always work on the first time it sometimes takes two or three attempts to get it done so we'll see how we get on this time um, I've already done one so uh, that was the same and then we'll just see and let it do its thing and see how we get on
So this is what I find really strange about the Shelly. Now, as you can see there, I don't know if you can hear it, but that's clicking on and off. So it's all connected. Now, what the strange thing is, is it was telling me it wasn't connected. Um, and this is what I was trying to explain in my previous video and in this one with the Shelly where it, it seems like it's not working with the pairing but then it just works um, and I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I'm not up on it enough as I previous explained. So we're connected as you'll have seen there. It said it weren't and now it is. It's working from the phone. Um, so yeah, what we need to do now is I'll show you how I'm sort of gonna wire it roughly uh, and then we'll get down and, and get it installed. So um, we'll take it from there. So with the my little sort of contraption to get it working uh, removed, we've left with the live and feed. So I'm gonna leave those connected and as you can see, they've gone into live and neutral there. So what we need to do now is we need to give the output its uh, its feed. So I'm gonna take that from the live and to the out to the input. Now, this is different to how I did it um, on the garden lighting uh, because I don't have the space uh, for, for what we're gonna do now uh, within the floodlight. So what I need to do is just put a loop in and um, and get it done. Now my GoPro's just died on the battery, so I'll put that in now and uh, I'll just use these tools, a bit of brown wire, uh, and we'll get that loop just put in and uh, we'll come back. And there we have it. So we're not able, I tried using a loop, but the cores um, are too, too thick to get in those smaller uh, openings. So what we're gonna do uh, I've done it the same way as I'm going to do outside. So what I'll do is take the feed um, for the 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 switch itself from the supply um, in the terminal block, and I'll also use the input from there, and then the output will go into the switch live on the light fitting, which I'll try and show you when we get out there to do it. So yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll get cracked on and uh, we'll head outside and get it done. There, which lives up there normally and as you can see I've got a bit of space there with this light plugging and then that can sit within there uh, somehow. We'll, we'll figure that one out in a minute. So I'm gonna get it wired in and we'll take it from there and, uh, and see what it's like once it's up there. Place it like that. And then I've just took all my feeds from the feed to the actual light. Then we've got a switch live there and uh, that feeds to the output from the output of um, the output of the Shelly. So that should sit neat there. We just need to connect the light and we'll give it a try. So learning from the front, what we need to do is get this one off. Easily done with my flexible screwdriver. There we go. So these just come off like so and then and then what I've learnt with the other one is we can't use these there's not enough room for both so I've used my Wago connectors and these will just sit on top of each other in the back so we'll get these off 
the earth doesn't go anywhere so that can be terminated in a spare one like so and then we need to do the same with this so we so while editing this video, it quickly became apparent that I didn't set my GoPro in the correct angle and you missed four minutes of the useful information. So what you need to do is let me get back outside and I'll take it to bits and show you again what we did. So back outside, uh, what I've done, just take the screw out, but just wanted to point out this is a Weira flexible screwdriver. <coughs> And for things like this job, where I didn't want to cut out too much stone, this really gets in and gets it sorted. So, yeah, just wanted to point that out. <clears throat> so, what we have is that sort of setup. And let me see, I just need to knees up and show you. So, the shell is wired in, so this is obviously his cable for the feed. I've commoned all the neutrals which are there and then that goes to the neutral on the shelly itself then we've got his live feed in then what the shelly requires is a live there and then a live which creates your switch to switch the light on and then this is the output from the shelly to turn the floodlight on permanently so with the Steinel what we've got two purple wires that go in there that's your feed uh, your switch live feed then we've got a black wire that goes to there which allows the PIR just to work constantly and then we have the neutral uh, which sits in there there's no earth for the Steinel so yeah we'll put it back together and I'll get the best picture I can and show you what so it's like the lights on as you can see there and um, we've used the way go connectors which I think are great. I've had to take the original connectors out because it just weren't enough room. Uh, and then you've got to put these back the best way you possibly can uh, and as neat to prevent any water ingress and whatnot. So um, yeah, that's it thing. It's all housed inside and uh, yeah, ignore the flashing. That's just the camera just can't keep up with the, uh, the uh, LED itself. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So I'll put it back together and then I'll give you a bit of a demo on uh, what we do when it goes dark I mean, on what inside there obviously it's specific to your uh, floodlight or lighting whatever you've got and um, because there's the front i've had to use a junction box um excuse the mess junction box in there for the garden lighting um so yeah that's about it really so what i'll do is i'll show you uh, what options you have to use it on the app so the main ones is the shelly app that it comes with there so we we'll head on there and as you can see we've got a garden and then we've got the garden lights which is the one down there which you can switch on and then we've got the garden floodlight so what you can do is switch that on there and switch that off and that's just through this app um, and then you've got a few other options uh, you can set a schedule so we can sort of set this oh i don't know what it did there but we can set this to come on um, so my front up and down lights, they come on at 15 minutes after sunset and uh, go off at a certain time. Uh, but then I can control them, if we like, through there, uh, front up and down lights. And I've also got the flood, flood light on the front uh, also connected to this. But very simple um, and really easy to use. Now, the other app you can use is Google Home or Alexa. Now, I've got Google Home uh, Nest products around the house, so it will automatically connect. And then the other thing, you've got the choice of either putting all garden lights on, somehow, there, and that would also turn the one that's down there on, or we could turn them off, like so or then they get split out like that. So, garden floodlight, there we go. And that connects automatically, so it's all integrated. And then the other option we've got 
is to talk so turn garden floodlight on and then if we come back off there we can press that again turn garden floodlight off hey google turn garden floodlight on okay turning the garden floodlight on hey google turn garden floodlight off And it really is as simple as that so um, it's the simple blue switch and that's really all you need and you can pretty much turn anything into a smart switch smart product now I've struggled to find anything else I could really use it on maybe a outside socket or, or something like that it is rated to 16 amps so it should be suitable for a 13 amp sort of feed um, but for me floodlights such as the Steinel such as those and such as the garden I think it's absolutely perfect um, integration wise it's really easy uh, and personally I found it better than the zone off um, if you're more up on the network side of things zone off would probably suit but uh, for me uh, I'm not so these Shelly worked much better so yeah I'll leave this video here I hope you found it useful and um, yeah, please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.